Welcome to my very messy uh, living room table. We've been... Yeah. <laughs> so, I, years and years and years ago, I saw this out of Walgreens. And it's a colossal 256 mega, megabyte MP3 player. Capable of 8 hours of music or 160 songs. And, you know, it supports all this, uses double A's, etc. Um, heck, the system requirements are... Very, to show you how old this is, the system requirements are Windows 98, 98 Second Edition ME 2000 XP or Mac 9.22. So it doesn't even require Mac OS X. And a Pentium 233 processor or higher, 30 megabytes of hard disk space, a 4X CD ROM drive, and USB port 1 or 2. And it install it, you know, installed sound card. So it's really old, really tiny thing. But what I'm thinking about doing is turning this into a Raspberry Pi MP3 player. So I went ahead and already opened it. So we'll go ahead and pull out the colossal MP3 player. So. It's so with this, then it looks like this will be really easy to mod. Um, on the front, we've got a space here that can be cut out uh, for a monitor, so we can put out video or just maybe put an, another L a bigger LCD in there because that is a tiny, tiny LCD there. Um, it does have a big speaker here on the grill, and it has some really nice clicky bu buttons that I'm hoping we can go ahead and hook up to the Pi. Uh, disassembly looks like it's going to be really easy. There's a series of little Phillips head screws in the back and underneath this nice little uh, stand. So it actually stands up like so. So yeah, so at the top, there is also a headphone jack, which you can probably try to repurpose. Uh, they've got a hold switch, which could be turned into an on and off switch. And an odd, really, really odd looking... Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. A really odd looking USB port. Uh, and looking online, I think this is a... I think a type... Um, it's a... Um, mini, not a micro, uh, but it's, I think it's a type B instead of the normal type A you see in everything else. Uh, like, you know, on the backs of, on the back of the DualShock, that's, I believe, a type A. Yeah, that's a type A. I think this is a type B. Whoops, other hand. So, or it could be just some proprietary thing. Why? I don't know. They include the cable. <laughs> so, it looks like I might be able to do that as a great little project. Uh, you know, the micro uh, Raspberry Pi is, you know, only 10 bucks. So we'd need a monitor. We would need to get a board to go with the Raspberry Pi to output the to the monitor to the sound, hopefully still keeping this speaker here. Uh, and then we're going to want to go ahead and replace the AA option uh, with... Uh, some sort of lithium-ion battery that could be recharged, which we can probably either drill it into the side or the top. Won't want to do it in the bottom because we've got this nice little stand. So, yeah. I think when I go out to California, um, I'm going to have some friends, and maybe they'll help me get this thing thrown together. So, uh, if I do decide to do this, I will go ahead and record more videos. And see about, you know, especially when I pull it apart and see what's in it for the very first time. So, okay. Well, thank you for listening. Bye.